By the time Michael Essie got furloughed from his restaurant job, his new wife, Jennifer, had just moved here from Malaysia. She was homesick. I really miss Malaysian food. And Mike does a really good job when he was in Malaysia. My mom was teaching him all this stuff, like, this is, this is how you do it. And then uh, we brought him to all the places that we locals would eat instead of like tourists. Their mutual love of that food led to a bi-monthly pop-up called Kedai Tapau. Early response was encouraging. This is really fun. And all the positive feedback just motivated us, like, let's do this. Malaysia has three dominant races, which are reflected in the food. It's a mixture of Chinese, Malay, and Indian food. As they prep for next week, Mike works on the savory dish. It's called Gam Hyung Chicken. To translate it, it means golden aroma chicken. But this is a Cantonese Chinese dish. First, there's lightly fried chicken, on the bone, of course, for more flavor. Curry powder, shallots, garlic, and Thai chilies are combined with dried shrimp and curry leaves. The resulting paste is cooked briefly in a wok over high heat. The fried chicken is added, and the combination results in a slightly spicy bird, earthy yet pungent and totally delicious. It's served with aromatic rice, a very different rice than the one in the sweet this week. The sweet for this week is called kue salad. So we have like a pandan custard on top. So it's like a really nice green but light and fragrant um, flavor to it. Sticky glutinous rice, some white, some colored with the aid of butterfly pea flower extract, is enriched with coconut milk, steamed together, then eventually covered in the sweet floral pandan custard, which is steamed until it sets. The kui salat is cut into tiny wedges for a sweet ending to a fiery Malaysian lunch or dinner. A mixture of texture. Now they've been averaging about 70 orders per week, and here's how you do it. You have to go to their Instagram, which has a link to their ordering page. It's at Kedai underscore Tapau. Now you place your orders beginning on Tuesday at noon, and then you'll have pickup or delivery on Sunday the 15th. Good luck. Be sure to get this custard. I love anything Pandan related. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.